Good morning and welcome to Fat Cow Farm. Peter here. Now we're a little bit um, under the pump this morning and um, we've got a little bit of international rescue going on. So as you can hear in the background, I've got a little um, water pump running and what I'd noticed is that the header tank, which is the irrigation for the stop troughs and things like that, wasn't pumping properly. And after a little bit of investigation, the only thing I can really put it down to is the actual inlet for that um, the Seaflow um, solar pump must be all clagged up with algae and everything else. So what we can see here is that I need to get out to that boy <laughs> and clean this inlet. So what I've got is I've got my trusty canoe and, um, and we're going to sort of see what it looks like when we get out there. So um really i mean this could go two ways we could have a fantastic time and um almost like you know rowing around on a lake on a sunday all i need is my picnic but um or you won't be seeing any videos for a while because i've fallen in and um flooded the phone so <laughs> just oh my god it just never ends so anyway what i'll do is um i've got to get out to that boy and um and then really at the end of the day have a look at what this um because I've got a return non-return valve on there. So I'm thinking that what's happened is that the the algae now with the, the sun being out and it's just totally all clagged up. And I'm like I said, I'm not getting that flow and I'm not holding water in that line. So there, there must there's there's two issues going on there. Alright, so let me get out there. We'll find out what's going on. So I'll see you soon. All right, so I've made it out, and yeah, you can see what's going on here. So that's, oh, how am I gonna do this? That's my non-return valve there. Um, and it is just full chock-a-block of algae and everything else. So all right, so what I need to do is clean this up, and um, and then we can go from there. All right, so I haven't fallen in, <laughs> I haven't fallen in yet. So, which is great. All right, I'll catch you then. See you soon. All right, so yeah, it was exactly what I expected. So we had a lot of algae, or it was like a little twig that had got into the um, non-return valve seat. And um, so that was letting all the water out. And what was also happening is that at the end of this one, um, you can see that, I mean, the holes are quite large but um, a lot of little crustaceans have, had made that a home and um, it was quite, quite calcified actually. And um, so that was reducing a lot of the, the flow coming into, into the unit. So anyway, I think that um, we're pretty much all set up now and uh, that's all internally all clean and free. So um, what we'll do is we'll go check the, um, the little sea flow pump now and, um, and go from there. So yeah, well, as you can see, here we are. The water is super brown because of, um, we had a truckload of rain come through. And um, so what's happening is that, you know, this area here is where I've got an inlet and I've got an inlet over here as well. And um, so, yeah, but anyway, this is a, um, a nice little dam or lake, whatever you want to call it. And, um, and so, all right, well, what I'll do is I'll get back to shore and we'll check out this little pump and, and we can go from there. So I'll see you back on dry land. I'll see you soon. All right, so I've primed all the lines again and it's set, and I haven't checked the um, header tank yet, but it sounds like it's all doing the right things. So we're now getting the proper flow come through the um, the sea flow solar pump now and um, and so I'll go up to the header tank and make sure that we've got flow coming out there and now I can um, put everything back onto onto timer and um, so that'll start kicking off um, as a top up for three hours a day all right so let's um, I'll race up to the top and see how we go from there so I'll see you soon all right, so here we are at the header tank and um, the, the water's flowing now. I can hear a little bit of a, a gurgling, so what we, it's probably just sorting itself out with that airlock. 
um, after the prime and then releasing of the, um, the foot valve down below. So everything is back to normal, which is absolutely fantastic. And, um, and I suppose that's why at the end of the day, we've got that redundancy there, the petrol, um, you know, for winter, when we're the, obviously when the sun's not shining, but for, for cases like now where, oh, we've got an issue, okay, I still want to maintain our volume inside the header tank here. And because um, I do get a little bit concerned when we're, we're sort of around about three quarter full, um, and I need to make sure that that's constantly full and overflowing. Um, so that's typically the way that we, we run everything here. Um, so yeah, so anyway, the, the little sea flow pump, it's, um, it lives for another day, which is absolutely fantastic. I just can't praise that little pump enough um, for what it's doing. And I've changed, and I, I, I haven't shown you, but um, I have changed the batteries on there. What I'm using are just um, two old car batteries, uh, or two, two car batteries, um, with a higher crank rather than just relying on deep cycle. Um, mainly because they were available at the time, but when you sit down and have a think about it, having that extra, extra crank to start everything off, um, once the timer kicks in, it works out quite well. So, and then that will then sort of bring that water back in and then the batteries just keep on going. And obviously with the charge from the solar panel, everything works a treat. So um, I'm just thinking, can you, you might be able to hear the water land into the tank. But anyway, so anyway, crisis diverted and um, international rescue can pack up and go home. <laughs> All right, so I'll just remind you again, I'll just flip the camera around and um, and I'll show you how far this little pump's pumping. And it's close to about, I think it's about 20 metres, if I remember correctly. So hang on, we'll just get a few things squared away. All right, so the little um, pump station is down there. And so, you know, it's quite, quite a distance when we're coming back up to the rainwater tank here. You might be able to you might be able to see the flow there. And that just jurgles along three hours a day. Absolutely fantastic. So it um, the way that we've calculated is is based off the average of, of litres. Um, I just looked that up for cows over summer and versus the volume that's coming out here. I think we were close to about eight litres a minute um, from our original um, sort of setup when we were putting this all together. Um, so that all works out quite well. So all good. All right then, so all about working through and looking at maintenance on your um, Seaflow solar water pumps I'm now I'm going to have to put that into the book. I haven't done it since we set it up. So that might have been, oh geez, maybe two, two, two years ago, I suppose. And um, so anyway, what we'll do is we'll get that certainly squared away um, in spring um, so that we're, we've got, you know, no issues moving forward. All right, so all about um, your Seaflow solar pump, like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.